your brain's expectation of what's going to be expected of it is a complete lie. You have operated and you have chosen you have prepared your brain in as much of a comfort zone as possible and you have protected your brain and you have protected yourself as much as possible and then in the exam, all that protection disappears and your brain has got no help. It's got no skills. It's got no experience with any of this. It doesn't know how to do it and now on the day that it counts the most, you throw them in, you, you're throwing your brain into the deep end and going, oh well, yeah, it's, it's all up to you, right? As uncomfortable as this stuff sounds, and it, and it is, the question is, you know, should we protect ourselves and stay in our comfort zones during our prep time as much as possible because it feels good, but, you know, and then on the day that it really, really counts is the day that we pull all the comfort blankets away, or do we need to start taking the comfort blankets away a lot earlier in our studying? So that on the day of the exam, this is normal. And there's a very big difference between comfortable and normal. I'm not saying that your exams are ever going to be comfortable, but that discomfort needs to be normal. Your brain needs to go into those exams going, Ugh, I don't really want to do this, but because we never do. Let's not lie to ourselves. We even want to write the exam. It's always going to be uncomfortable. It's always going to be, you know, it's always going to be difficult. But your brain mustn't be in a situation where it's going, I don't, I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. I don't know how this, this like, what do you, you know, this isn't, this isn't what we practiced. Your brain needs to be in a position where it's going, okay, this again, let's do it. Yeah, we're doing questions blind. Randa, don't know what I'm going to find. I don't know, you know, if they're going to ask me questions on the stuff that I've recently covered. Uh, I know there's going to be a time limitation. Have you prepared your brain for what, you know, what you're going to find on the day of the exam? And generally, you know, my students will only focus on, yes, Yvonne, I want to know what questions are going to be asked on the day of the exam, which you're not going to get, right? So my, my students love to spot, like, you know, let me try and figure out how I can identify like the likelihood of, of, of which questions coming up so that I can prepare for the question. But that's just that's just ridiculous and, and, and impossible. That's just, you know, that's not how it works. What you can be doing is preparing your brain and preparing yourself for the situation that you're going to find. So are you studying towards the exam or are you lying to yourself and training your brain that that's how it's going to look when in reality on game day on the day that it counts it's completely different